what's up guys learning with rich here um in this video we are going to plan our plumbing system so after we learn mechanical system and then electrical system so this time around we're going to create a plumbing system so creating plumbing systems in revit is similar to any design project so planning is critical to a successful design so in this lesson we are going to prepare to design the plumbing system by creating a pbc sanitary pipe type and then we are also going to load pipe fittings required for the plumbing system and then we're going to specify some default sanitary pipe settings for the main and branch piping and then we're going to learn how to add a pipe size all right so let's get started so we are going to configure a plumbing and piping design so as you can see revit provides families of common plumbing components that you place in our plumbing plan so we load the families of components that are required for our plumbing system. So in this exercise, we're going to uh, create a PVC pipe type and specify the default fittings that will be used with this type aside from loading existing family. Okay, so for the first exercise, let's create a pipe type. Very simple. So from our project browser, I'm going to expand my families here and then I'm going to look for the pipes okay so you just need to expand the pipes and then you can now see here the pipe types so if you're going to expand the pipe types so you can see here your standard and then the water uh, pipe and then if you're going to expand your piping systems here and then expand the piping system you can see here different types of your uh, pipe right piping system so you have domestic so you have a domestic hot water blah 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 and then if you expand your pipe insulation again you have the default and then you also have here some uh, pipe fittings okay so what I'm gonna do here is since we are going to create a new pipe type I'm going to right click the standard here so pipe types so just right click that and then I just need to duplicate okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select duplicate and then just rename the standard to so just right click that rename so let's say I will call this uh, PBC dash vent okay so I want to create a PBC type uh, pipe okay and then after that i'm going to modify this one so i'm going to double click that to open up the type properties okay or you can just right click as well and then select here uh, type properties select that one and then we are going to assign some uh, settings for our pbc bent uh, pipe so to do that just go to the routing preferences and then select your edit okay and then this is now your routing preferences so you need to select here what is the pipe segment that you want for your PVC so you can click that drop down arrow and let's say what I want here is uh, plastic schedule 40 so I select that one and then you can select here the minimum size and then the maximum size for that uh, type of pipe okay so let's say I want to specify as well here the elbow so since this is a PBC, I'm going to go ahead and select Bend PBC Schedule 40. And then I prefer T junction type. For the junction, I want to select here uh, Vent. T reducing Vent PBC Schedule 40. DWV standard. So I'll just select that one. And then the minimum size, I can just select here All. And then for the Cross, I select that Cross. I want to select here uh, this one T double sanitary uh, PBC so that's the type that I want and then I can select the transition here so I would just select a PBC again Union do we have here okay so Union I just select the PBC again flange non cap not okay now I can specify here the minimum size for the transition and union fitting so basically this is how you do it so just in case you want to 
specify some routing preferences to the created pipe type. Okay, so this is how you do it. You just go to the routing preferences. So I'll just select here, okay. And then I'll just select here, okay. There you go. So that's how you create a pipe type. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is to load some uh, piping components. So let's say, for example, I want to have a trap. Okay, I want to have a P-trap. Okay, so as you can see here on my pipe fittings, there is no P-trap here. So how to load that? So you just need to go to your systems. And then after that, you look for the pipe fitting. Just click that one. And then you just select load family. So I'm going to show you where is the location of that P-trap. Although it's already here on my exercise file. Let's say, for example, you don't have the exercise file. You can still locate your P-trap by going to your... Uh, program data, drive C, program data, just look for Autodesk. And then just look for Revit. Okay, so it's not here on my drive C. So I'll go to the D drive. And then I go to the Autodesk. I go to the Revit 2021. I will look for Revit 2021. And then just look for... Hmm, it's not here as well. Wonder where did I save or install that one? Okay, content path. Okay, so it's here on the content path. And then just look for the libraries. Just look for the English Imperial. If you are using Imperial units or uh, metric, just select English. So in my case, I'm using Imperial. So just go to the English Imperial and then look for the pipe. Then look for the fittings. Look for the PBC. Look for the Schedule 40. Look for the socket type. Look for DWV. Just double click that. And then let's look for the P trap. Where's the trap? So this is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so in case you're wondering what is the DWV stands for, it stands for Domestic Waste Vent. Okay, so I just select the P-trap there, and then I select your open, and it will now be loaded here. And there you go. So it's now loaded. Okay, so that's how you load piping component family. Okay, so I'm just going to select modify to terminate any selection or deselect any selection. Or terminate any tool so i just loaded now my uh component family here so that's how you load now the next thing that we're going to do is so we're going to specify the sanitary piping settings for my pipe for my let's say for my pvc bent pipe okay so i want to set up that one so to do that i'll just go to the mechanical settings or i can type ms okay so i'm going to select this one and then I'll look for the pipe settings. Okay, so for more information on the uh, definition of most of the parameters of all of the parameters here on our mechanical settings, you can just uh, go to the Revit online help. You just press F1 so that you'll be able to see there or read all these um, parameters or options that you might want to change so that you will gonna have an understanding on these uh, settings now for the pipe settings i want to change here the pipe connector tolerance okay so instead of five degrees i'm gonna change that to 10 degrees okay and then i want to go to the conversion so i go to the conversion and then I go to the system here. So I'm not going to do a hydronic supply, but I want to do a sanitary here. So I want to set up the sanitary. So I click the sanitary and then I have here the main and then the branch. So I can set up the pipe type for the main pipe of my sanitary. So I can change that. Instead, I want a PBC for that. So let's say for the middle elevation, I want it to be four feet. And same with the branch. I want that to be, let's say, PBC. Okay. 
and then I want this to be 4 feet okay and then I want to change this world event so let's say for the event I want the PVC or whatever and then you can just change okay right and then after that you just need to um, apply it just select okay okay so once you're done but we are not yet done on our conversion so after the conversion let's now go to the segments and sizes so let's say for example for the segments and sizes here I want to change the segment I'm not gonna use the carbon steel but I'm gonna what I'm using is the plastic schedule 40 right so if I select this one I'll be able to see here all the sizes available for my plastic schedule 40 so as you can see there is no one half here so that is what I want to do. Okay, I want to add a new size for my plastic schedule 40. So I'm going to go ahead and select new size. And then I'll type here one half. And then I change the inside diameter. So let's say this will going to be 5.8. And then for the outside diameter, um, 28 over 32 inch. Okay, and then I'll just need to select okay. So that's it. Okay, so what I'm just showing here is it's easy for you to create a new size of your pipe. And then you can also create your new segment here. Okay, there you go. So after that, you just need to select here. Okay, now one last thing. You need to go back to the PBC bent here. Just double click that again. And then go to the routing preferences. Remember, we add the one half inch size so as you can see here the minimum here is three fourth okay so that's why i'm gonna change that to one half so that it will gonna be available on my pipe list otherwise even if you have created your one half inch it will not appear unless you select it as your minimum size okay and then just select here okay and then okay right so that's it. So basically, that is just some basic things that you might do or you can do in configuring a plumbing and piping system. Okay? So on our next video, what we are going to do is we're going to add sanitary plumbing fixtures. Alright? So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.